song right here is uh, it's the ballad, I think. And the new album's called Dirty Weapons, and this song's called Nothing Gets a Nothing. <laughs> production for the new album. Well, tell me all about the new album. Boy, well, uh, we're hoping to call it Dirty Weapons, Killer Dwarfs, Dirty Weapons, and uh, we've been working on it since um, maybe last, you know, October around there, and, you know, we went away and uh, come back, and here we are again. We've, we've just finished writing it, and uh, we're just rehearsing it and getting ready to leave the uh, second week in March off to uh, closer to the equator this time to record it. <laughs> this record? Uh, it looks like we're going to go to Tallahassee, Florida. We, you know, we wanted to go to the Bahamas and stuff like but that, but... I never got any work done there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, so, you know, and the, there was only like two kinds of beer there, so we couldn't really go there, so yeah. we opted out for, since we are in show business, we can opt out for, you know, Tallahassee. Yeah. Tallahassee, yeah. here we come. <laughs> when you were doing this all independently you didn't have to worry if the new songs for the album were something that somebody else had to like How, how's the record company taking them we sent them down seven tunes and uh you know wondering what the response was going to be and it was great oh, they're, so they're hands they're off you know hands, uh, yeah. that's the way they've always approached this band people may think different you know because you get a major deal and you have some money coming in but they signed it as a band and uh, whatever we come up with not that everything we come up with they're going to love, but, you know, we work real hard on this stuff. And, uh, you know, the, the, everything was, was go ahead. They did, yeah. Yeah, they're no into it. About they're it. into it. It's good. We're lucky that way, you know, because it, it would be hurt for sure if you're just, you know, oh, well, I don't know if we like these tunes, you know. At least, at least they, they, they believe yeah. in it. They believe in it as much as we do. So, you know, and we're not doing anything different that way. We always try to, you know, do the best we can, but we're really, we're excited about it, you know, because, you know, we've had the big deal. We've already got that, and and the money and everything so it, it's like we've you know we're more relaxed with the situation now like last year it was like <gasps> oh my god you know we were just you, you, after all those years it was great to finally have that opportunity to do that now you know we we've settled into it more and you know we're getting our aggression back and we you know the perspectives are are a little different you know? playing live so much too yeah. you really learn what's going to work for the band mm -hmm. ultimately live as opposed to you know just from a production standpoint what you want to do and the main thing with this record is we're going to capture exactly what we are live. Yeah. This is the desert. I mean, I'm fried enough as it is. This is... El Gringo. You would die out here. In, in a matter of hours if we were stuck out. For people watching this flick, it might look peaceful, but you're talking, it's 120 degrees out here right now. 120. You hear that? At one point you thought that your, your strongest falling was in the southern states. Now that you've done this European tour with Iron Maiden, where do you think your stronghold is? Well, since that tour in Britain, we played to more people than we ever have before. So that, and I think the sales are up, way up because mm -hmm. of the tour, and that puts Britain on top now because, oh. because of that tour. Yeah, that was a start. It started. Yeah. It, yeah. it ended up being the same all over. We were doing the same size dates as we were in Texas and going over just as good, selling as many records in all the major centers in the States. But I mean, that, that was yeah. the first break 
the and first place outside Canada that accepted it. But you know, by the time Big Deal came out, it was the same everywhere. Mm. Like there was no difference between Chicago, yeah. New York, LA. We were big, the, the same level that we were the first time we went to Texas. It's mm. just that you know, when the first place that hits, obviously, is fond to your heart. Yeah, yeah. we're just opening it, right? new ground. We everywhere we've gone, you know, it's been a really good response. And and from being able to go to the UK on that kind of level, it's opened up a bigger market for us. Obviously, over there, but the, the states is you know still the same. We built a, a good foundation. You know, for this next record, we have a, a cross. You know, a, a lot of markets to to go to, and you know, this year we're going to go to Europe, and we're going to go to Japan, and we're going to go, you know, back to the states, obviously, and we're going to, you know, go to Sault Ste. Marie, USA. <laughs> that is where we're welcome. <laughs> and, uh, okay, that's that's the big thing. What's wrong with Canada? What's wrong with this country? Nothing. We live here. We love Canada. You know, this is our home. But we always love to come home here. Unfortunately, we haven't had the opportunity to play as much here as we wanted. You know, we played three shows in the last two years here, and those were strictly shows to open up the tour to warm our, ourselves up. So, uh, I don't know, we're waiting, you know, all you promoters out there, and, uh, you know, here's the dwarfs, we're waiting. You know, our, our fans, they they come up to us on the street all the time, and they just, you know, there's people that have seen the, the band through videos, and they've never seen us live, and they, they want the opportunity to check it out. I, I just think it's, it's the point of Rollers somebody yeah, taking a chance on the band or giving it the right opportunity. Maybe it's just the way it is for us. We've always been had this kind of this underdog thing in our own hometown. I don't know why, you know, because we get, we get airplay in, in L.A. and in, you know, Texas and in New York and everywhere else. But we come to the hometown, you know, they don't even play us on the radio here. Mm -hmm. And we don't understand why, you know, because we think, you know, obviously we think we're... we're as, is happening as a, you know as the next guy is right and mm. uh, it, it's hard to explain it, it frustrates us sometimes because when we're here because we're thinking about it more and more people are coming up to us and yeah, somehow it doesn't yeah. bug you when there's 12,000 yeah. kids at Wembley Arena screaming right you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your mind's yeah, a little preoccupied <laughs> But yeah. a lonely Monday night in uh, yeah, yeah. Toronto, yeah, it's just to get to you. Yeah, you're well, back a week it's later. Like, you know, you another market to here, we should play. And see some tribute band, somebody trying to be White Snake or something. And here, you've been working on your own songs, you know, working as hard as you can, yeah. rocking out, yeah. doing it all over the place, all over the world. Yeah. And you come back, and, and that's what, you know, the, the country has to offer. It's no wonder, in some ways, it, you know, it's kind of hard for, you know, basically long-haired pounding rock bands to get ahead here. Yeah. appreciated by Iron Maiden. What was that like touring with them? We ended up doing some shows with them in, uh, at the end of August in uh, the States. It was their last uh, bit of, bit of uh, dates there and uh, we were lucky enough to get them and uh, they really fell in love with the band. You know, they got a kick out of it and we had a good laugh together and stuff, you know, so they, uh, and the you know, opportunity came up for these uh, UK dates and uh, they called us a week later and Harry, you know, asked us to come over. Said right on, you know. Let's, By the let's way, do Harry it. is the nickname for Steve Harris for Thank anyone you. that didn't know. You can't say the H. You didn't know. <laughs> Harry. Harry. Uh, it's Harry. It's A R. Harry wants it. Harry, Harry gets it. <laughs> but, but Harry wants. Harry gets. Harry wants every light in the place. Yeah. In there, right? yeah. Now so they, they have a you have a choice little bit of video that um, that you want to show that involves. All of Daryl, uh, <laughs> all. <laughs> all of Daryl, and it's got to do with the famous last night pranks of the uh, of the tour. Can you set this up? 
Well, um, <laughs> for the uh, for the for the whole time, Daryl has a pretty outrageous wardrobe for the normal Joe, and uh, usually, you know, in but look, he's la he's laughing at me. Okay, well, well you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I would agree. We've got well, everybody always makes comments on his uh, footwear, right? You know, we'd be in a Denny's and uh, you know. Yeah. Actually, these are pretty good Squat. right now. Yeah, these yeah, ones are cool. Like, these are my they're sneakers. Mellow. Yeah, they're, they're, they're the mellow, mellow for me. Mellow. Anyway, yeah. like I like the New York, you know, boot, yeah. boots yeah. up to here. But anyway, so see. Harry's, uh, you know, we'd always be in the in the lounge, you know, after the shows and stuff, and he just got a kick out of Daryl's boots and stuff. He has these ones that are like zebra stripe and and all this stuff. And Harry Ron just, Penn. you know, he's just loving it, right? So it was an ongoing joke. So we plotted, you know, that we'd uh, do a little practical joke on Iron Maiden on the last, on the, on night. The last night, right? So they came out, they pied us at the end of our set and everything, you know, a standard lick and stuff. In your eyes. And so they um, me, really. so yeah. in the song Die With Your Boots On, you know, I don't want to give too much of it away because, you know, yeah, I guess you'll... Maybe you we should just, for yourself. just roll the tape. Yeah, just roll the tape. It's, Any uh, last words, Daryl? Are you really going to show that? <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you next time.